James Kaufman, World News Report today. In breaking news, we've been in an unforecasted geomagnetic storm for the last three hours with heavy solar winds hitting planet Earth. Taking a look at our KP indexes, our estimated planetary KP index, we see that for the last three hours, from 1 to 4 central time here in the U.S., we've been in a G1 geomagnetic storm. Prior to that, we were in a geomagnetic disturbance for 6 hours. Now, I'm guessing this is because a small coronal hole that was Earth-facing a few days ago. But again, this was mostly unpredicted. We can see that a few of the other KP indexes said that we were having some geomagnetic complications earlier in the day, but that does not show up on the estimated planetary index, the one that is exclusively used by NOAA and NASA. See, on the college index, we had six hours of a G1 geomagnetic storm, followed by the last six hours of a geomagnetic disturbance. On the Fredericksburg Index, we had a total of six hours of a geomagnetic disturbance. And on the Boulder KP Index, we had nine hours of a geomagnetic disturbance and six hours of a geomagnetic storm. Although, that's not what the data says on Discover and ACE. The data is in line with the Estimated Planetary Index. Headed over to NOAA's KP Index forecast breakdown, 19th, 20th, and 21st. We can see that today on the 19th, they weren't even expecting a geomagnetic disturbance, except for maybe from 12 to 15 UTC time. It was supposed to be a very mild day, and they were looking at a G1 geomagnetic storm late tomorrow. They were looking for six hours of that G1 geomagnetic storm again late tomorrow, but that small coronal hole, well, that thing was Earth-facing days ago. Now, tomorrow's forecasted geomagnetic storm could be the M1 solar flare that hit late last night, early this morning, although that would mean it arrived very quickly. And it didn't look like it had a chance of being Earth-directed, period. Now, this is the small coral hole being blamed for the geomagnetic storm right now. We have two solar tornadoes that are just magnificent here. Here at the 1 to 2 o'clock position and here at the 10 to 11 o'clock position, absolutely huge huge. A solar tornado is created when magnetic fields swirl like a tornado-like filament of boiling plasma in the sun's atmosphere. Exactly what we've just seen. According to NASA's space-based SDO, they can rotate at speeds up to 186,000 miles per hour. For comparisons, tornadoes on Earth reach speeds of up to 300 miles per hour. All right, over to the Space Weather Prediction Center. I'm going to have to say that they did a decent job, although they didn't foresee any type of geomagnetic storm. They do have the solar winds shooting up on the 19th to right about 650 kilometers per second. I will, well, let y'all know that it's over 700 just over 700 kilometers per second. Now, they forecasted plasma to start the day out at around 4 centimeters cubed and end the day at about 2 centimeters cubed. Well, it's actually much stronger than that. All right, what do we have? Right around 12 UTC time, which is 5 a.m. this morning, we had solar winds pick up from about 420 and just shoot right up 640 there. We've got a, let's see if we can grab it here, a 701. And then just recently, 699. Uh, and pretty consistently high there. 
It's like we're missing a little bit of data here. But you can see that over the last three hours, which is this area through here, we really have even had an uptick with solar winds. Temperature has risen with solar winds. Plasma uh, has gone up a little higher than they guesstimated. And we do have some anomalies up here. Plasma at 111.33. Plasma at 60.51. So definitely some anomalies here. And we have temperature rising when that occurs as well. Shields are up, which I guess uh, with 700 kilometer per second solar winds, we could expect a G1 geomagnetic storm, which is what we are seeing here. We'll double check on ACE real quick. And we're seeing that same thing happen here at about 5 a.m. Central this morning, 12 UTC time, a huge bump from 420 up to about 650, and now really close to 700 kilometers per second for the last three-hour period. Plasma did go over the space weather threshold of 10 centimeters, and they do have these anomalies here over 100, if you can barely see them. So that must be real data. I don't know what would have caused it. We have that temperature that's reinforcing that data for us. Uh, again, the last three hours here are what we're talking about. This G1 geomagnetic storm. Unpredicted, and something was predicted for late tomorrow afternoon. I just can't imagine what it would be. That said, God bless each and every one of y'all. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.